Totally rad show. Hey everybody, welcome to the Totally Rad Show, episode number eighteen. Woo. Numero e choche. I don't know. We're now we're now legal to. Uh, we are. Screw. I'm Alex Albrecht. I am Jeff Canada. I'm Dan Trachtenberg. And we are uh, legal to screw. Speaking of breaking the law. Whoa. Well, running speaking, speaking, speaking of law. Speaking of turning 18. Yes, that's what I was saying. You had jury duty. I had jury duty. You had the privilege today. of doing jury duty. Huh. Right? As a citizen <sighs> of the... <clears throat> I believe in America. No? No. It was a lot less... Oof. Don't know if anybody out there knows English. The wood. wood. We've we've played it in Grand Theft Auto Three, Four. <laughs> That's where I was. Is that based, based on Inglewood? Are you sure? Con it's L. A. Inglewood. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so I um, I, I I was able to skate off. Good. You know, one day, one <clears throat> trial. They have. Well, in now today it was one day, one or two of the trials that were currently being done. It was very weird. Did I you get called in, more than once? I would have. I went in. Oh. Uh, today, uh -huh. they had two. They said we have two trials. There's a ton of people there. Like yeah, Seventy well, that, people yeah. on a Friday. But that's weird on a Friday. Mm. And she said, "This is weird that I called this many people in." But she said there are two trials pending, and if you uh, if both trials go today, uh -huh. everybody in here will be on a panel. Wow. That wow. Yeah, I felt that way too when she oh, said. Were it. Like, I know. Yeah. I was like, damn it. And then she said, um, also, if you are called onto a panel. And dismissed, you cannot go home. Right, no, that's you the have new thing. to. Oh, that's yeah. new. Oh, that's... One day, one trial. That means you, oh, you're there day. either the entire day right. or you're on a trial. Okay. Yeah. So it turned out it was a three week criminal trial. Ooh. They paneled about 50 of us, me included. Wow. And we that all was like, sat no, no. Yeah, no, what, no, they, no. what questions did they ask? Well, they had a list. I mean, the normal list. Did you talk about this? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because it wasn't, it wasn't a trial. Yeah. But also, they had a, like a normal list, like, you know, um, are you a racist? I mean, basically, it's like, <laughs> what, are you a racist? You said, yes, I am. You know, people I, like I was thinking about it. I actually. People do that just to try to get out of it. I actually I chatted they, with the guy next to me, and I was like, how is now it's good if I'm a racist? <laughs> Where, when did this, what, what day it's am I on now? So do they, if you say yes, are they like. No, really, are no, you raped? The judge gives it to you. <laughs> How much do you hate yeah. others? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> so basically, what ended up happening was the lady came back. We were supposed to go to Wait, lunch at noon. What are the questions? Any other interesting questions? No, they're all boring. It's like, do you believe in the justice system? Yeah. Would you? Do you believe that people need to be? That the, the defendant needs to prove his innocence, <laughs> even though they just said in the question before. Right. Do you understand that it is the prosecutor's job to? I mean, basically, it's. Do you agree with the legal system? Because right. if not, then of course you're going to be like, no, I don't agree with the legal system, and then they're completely screwed. But so the so lady. Why doesn't everyone do that? Well, because Every, then you do have do to do talk, that. and you do have to talk to a freaking judge. In I mean, it's, it's illegal to be like, yeah. I just, I, yeah. you know. Yeah. So you got out so, of it. Well, what happened was long story it was like short. twelve o'clock to go. Mm -hmm. It was like twelve o'clock. We we're going to go to lunch, and the lady came back. And she was like, well, the, I have good news. I have bad news. She said, the good news is. There's a motion right now that this trial that everybody's paneled may be moving locations. Did you stand up and go, I second that and move. <laughs> no? You didn't do that? No. no. I, I, I would have, have been that. jumped <laughs> by lots of people. Uh, and so she said, but so she said, if that happens, we'll find out by one. If it is, then you guys are done. You can go home. We were all like, at one o'clock? At one o'clock. Then she lucky said, SOB. or yeah. They will not do that. Everybody will still leave at one, but then you need to come back on Monday to do the jury selection. 
And then she walked out. It was really funny because there's really like 75 people there doing their service. And she walks out and she goes, thank you all very much. Your service for the day has been done. And everybody went, literally erupted into cheers. <laughs> Throwing their hat. They literally were like, Woo! And I was like, Are you sitting sad. on like benches? Oh, it's horrible. No, it's no, like, you're it's in like, a, like a waiting room. It's yeah. Like a waiting like room. Like a doctor's chairs. office. It's one step it's above much benches. bigger than that. But yeah. But I always pictured wooden benches. Have like, you never got been? I had called and I didn't have to uh, go. Oh, you just jinxed yourself. Uh, welcome to. Yeah. But luckily, no. Welcome to Dan and Steve saying the other night, oh, you won't be called then. <laughs> you know what's good for our viewers, though? It's one day, one episode for them. Boom! Get ready for the rest! So, ha! Ah. Sunshine. Woo! Uh, Danny Boyle's new movie. Yes, Danny Boyle's movie. About um, <laughs> about uh, the crew of the Icarus Two, mm -hmm. en route to reignite the sun. Mm -hmm. Not the Alpha Two. No, the Icarus Icarus not two. the Starship Alpha Two. <laughs> right. Yeah. The Starship um, Icarus Two. It is a <laughs> space uh, movie. I went on record um, in an episode that no one saw. <laughs> I believe where we talked about the trailer. Crappy record recording. Yeah, and I, yeah. I, I said about this. it reminds me of The Abyss. Yes. And I think it'll be one of the best movies of the summer. Yes. Uh -huh. I think my calculations were correct. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> um, I thought it was a great. What's uh, the plot? What's the plot? Quickly. Why it was Icarus oh, too. Uh, that, that's the plot. <laughs> that was the plot. A... I mean, I don't. I don't want to. There's a plenty to spoil. We should try and save those spoilers till right. the end well, so but people can get they're, something out they're of. heading it's the future yeah. they're yeah. heading to the sun the, the sun is dying die. the, war, the earth is like in a nuclear winter right. so there's no hope left if this doesn't happen everyone's dead so they're gonna throw and everyone is bomb, mostly dead basically a, some kind of not a bomb but some sort of eight device, nuclear bombs yeah that is gonna yeah. reignite the sun yeah. right and Icarus 1 went up at and some failed. point before and failed and now this is their humanity's last hope for right. survival yes um, I thought that it was so friggin' well made. Um, it, 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 the sound design was incredible. The, the, the choice, it, the, the what, what had sound was an interesting choice, and the sounds that it was given was an even more interesting choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the acting was all awesome, everything was awesome. I think you guys have to agree with me other than <laughs> the end. The end is a little debate. The end is where we get into a little shaky. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it, I think it was a satisfying ending. Did you talk to Steve? No. Huh? No, I didn't. No. Steve um, didn't like it? The end no, was, no, 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 no. The end was Steve satisfying, it. but it was a little bit weird, and I could see it turning off many. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it, it, is, it is very much like Alien, the first one, and Abyss, and Space mm -hmm. Camp. It doesn't re. It does not. It does not. <laughs> it's like Alien, The Abyss, and, and uh, Big Mama's House. Yeah, Big Mama's house. Big Mama's house. Big Mama's house. Um, but uh, it, it doesn't reinvent the formula for this kind of movie. Yet none of it felt hackneyed to me. Hmm. What did you think, Jeff? I agree with you that it's very, very good movie. I I thoroughly enjoyed it, start to finish. I didn't have a problem with. with uh, the ending at all, there were times when I had a hard time sitting still during it because I was so excited. Yeah. Um, I love the look of it, the way sunshine and light and burning is a character in the movie and the way it, all of that is shot. It looks unlike any um, science fiction film in that respect. I mean, the, the, inside the, the, the spaceship stuff is very alien. Mm. And the movie, many things are. Yeah, I mean, the movie is is very alien, um, and I, I agree with you that it would be a real shame to to give spoilers on this movie. Um, but uh, but <laughs> no, 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 but I just want to give I want to give enough for people to get excited that may not have heard of it or whatever. No, I love it. I, I I love this movie. I I fear that this movie will get swallowed up in the tumult right. of summer, and I don't. It doesn't feel like a summer movie. It's it, it's a it's kind of a gem. Uh, it's a very good movie. I really liked it. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna play uh, devil's advocate here for okay. a second. That's a Simpsons reference. Anybody? No. <laughs> They're playing devil. He's playing. No, Homer devil. just oh. goes and plays devil's advocate yeah. with pinball machine. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> I saw this movie a while ago. Yeah. Okay. When I walked out and of this movie, I don't movie, remember. <laughs> no, 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 no. I remember when I walked out of this movie. I saw this movie by myself. Yeah. When you I walked out sent of the a theater, text message to me. I was so 
it was, it so affected me emotionally. Like I was drained. I was, it was epic. I was like, this is the best sci-fi movie I've seen maybe. I mean, it was yeah. just like blown away. I sent them text messages. I felt the just same said, way you did. Wow. Today, I wanted to text then. message you guys. Wait, I just want to say, say when, before you go oh, on from yes. that, I just want to say a little funny anecdote of, he, you sent me a text message that said, wow, and I just <laughs> thought he wanted to play World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. Dan got it. <laughs> Dan got it. Um, I mean, it was really, I just was like, I loved it. It was so like, just oppressive and like, but of course it's like, it make, it, I really did feel like I was on a multiple year trip to go to the sun to save the planet. It didn't leave. When I walked out of the theater, it was still with Oh, me. no, I know. I, like, I know. Wow, and is... I was walking I walk into my car by myself, and I seriously was like, I have not been affected by a movie like that in a very long time. Is there a butt to your... There is a butt to me. Uh, <laughs> Where <laughs> would this butt awesome be located? Butt. <laughs> well, then I, I, a couple people went, Steve, uh, to see this, this Steve's movie. Steve's wearing hater pants today? He's, no, no, Steve's not wearing hater pants. He's wearing mammy pants. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend and her uh, roommate do Girls on Film Show. Yes. They went and saw it. They've already reviewed it. Um, and I kind of was like a little bit, I was drinking the Kool-Aid a little bit. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. They were saying things like, um, it's, it's a little bit hopeless. I think that that you know that the whole like when as soon as it was going it was sort of like, well this is probably not going to end well for anybody. I mean it was sort of like mm, this is going to be bad. And so they had this sort of feeling of like, well I don't even want to. Why would I want to watch these people? Why would I want to care for these people when I it feels like this is not going to be a good ending? You know what I mean? This, <clears throat> I that's what I said. So I was like, what? But and I have to say, I'm glad. And there were some things at the end. That were a little bit maybe out of tone. Okay, let's now, me. Major, now spoiler. Right, spoiler, spoiler right. cam on, cam me, Steve. Okay, so basically what happens is they find Icarus One. Well, you and, well, don't you have to tell? No, them. just tell. Just tell. Oh, was like, no, just talk what? to us like without. So okay. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Well, when the guy shows up, <laughs> as as Steve so eloquently put put it, yeah. when did Monster Man show up? Yeah. And Monster that, Man. Yeah, that that was sort uh, of like, and I was okay yeah, but with it, Monster me, Man. It's, it's rooted in the. St- <clears throat> it means something for the story. It was a literal movie until yeah. then, and then it became a. Sure, movie. it turned that into a different kind of movie, but it but, but it, he symbolically didn't have there. anything. Like it wasn't even about. It didn't turn into a monster movie at all. It just. It just had that element in it for a second, and, yeah. then it, and then it was back to being... Well, I will say that I did, after hearing the eloquently put, when did Monster Man show up, I checked out <laughs> comment from Steve. I was like, oh, yeah, I guess there was sort of a weird Monster Man at the end there for no reason. <laughs> With a lot of Vaseline on but, the lens. Yeah, but when I saw it myself, unbeknownst, which is why I wanted, I was so excited, because I wanted to see what you guys thought right. to see if we it would with, re-spark we- that feeling that I had when I left the movie because I really did truly enjoy this movie. I thought it was an amazing sci-fi movie. I thought it was shot really well. Um, uh, The Danny Boyle stuff that we missed was actually that they had the actors and he took them away and locked them together for like two, three weeks just to get that rapport of people who have been together for so long. You know what I loved about the end of this? And dude, Chris Evans? Chris Evans? That was like the best thing I've ever seen. Although, Arbitrary, like, facial yeah, the hair weird shaving wig thing. But stuff, anyway, but, um, mm. the, the, what I love, and this is major spoiler alert, but I love that it seems to me the concept of this movie was derived from the last moment, which is what would it be like to stand in the eye of a star hmm. instead of the eye of a storm, yeah. the mm. eye of a star. And that moment for me, like, was transcendent. Yeah. It, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was really cool. Um, yeah. I also want to say too. I, I started thinking about Danny Boyle <clears throat> flicks, and they are all. I mean, every director you could say has the same. Uh, it's sort of retelling the same story in a different yeah. way. All those movies are about a team of people that implode. List them. Twenty eight days later. Twenty eight days going backwards. Twenty eight days later. Spotting. The beach. Mm-hmm. Train spotting. Shallow grave. Yeah, you're right. They're all like that. Well, millions that was isn't it. quite like that. But <clears throat> that was it. Yeah, he's got a million. But yeah. you, you said something. By the way, it. and the, um, isn't that isn't that interesting though? It's very cool. Yeah. I so also I, score great. <clears throat> score is freaking oh, great, dude. So good. Was it? Me, were there Muse songs in there? No, it just, it just has felt that, sound. that like that yeah. sort of like orchestral pounding mm-hmm. of Muse, cool. ambient and minimal. Well, three out of four of us. Dude, liked three it. out of four. Yeah. So I just, I'm, I, but I wanted to play devil's advocate. I wanted yeah. our audience to it's know that game. there is another, well, well, that's there is what, another yeah. opinion out there, but yeah. it's now, not shared by the three of us. Also, the genius, I know we should be moving on, but the <clears> genius 
of, of Abyss. And it did get a very event horizon for me right. at the end. There was a monster yeah. man. But, the, well, yeah. or, but spoiler that. Um, <laughs> the, genius, <laughs> yeah, the, the genius of Abyss spoiler. at Ocean's 11, 12, and 13 uh-huh. is that. Spoiler, spoiler, camming me. Um, Spoil that! It didn't bitch. have to knock people off one by one to create drama. Uh-huh. They could maintain survivors yeah. Yeah. throughout the whole time, yeah. and you still feel the drama. And I love that, because it's almost, you're almost like, it's not that dramatic because you know everyone's going to eat it in a certain way. Mm. And I would have loved if no one died in this movie and it was all about how they get through this because you think someone's going to be off and they don't because right. they made it out with the cl- in a clever way. And you mm. think someone's going to... Anyway, um, just real briefly, we're going we're gonna to cruise past... Some news. The, uh, we're going we're gonna to stop the, at the yield sign that is um, Gavin Hood, director of Tsotsi, a, uh, Tsotsi? a South Tsotsi. American Tsotsi. flick that won an uh, Oscar yeah, a couple years Tsotsi. ago. That uh, he's directing the Wolverine, a movie, oh, and then we're gonna wow, that's get through well, that yellow. You, but you can you don't want to talk. We about don't want to talk about that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get past the yellow light that is uh, that is uh, Seth Rogen playing the Green Hornet, writing, producing, and starring in the Green Hornet. Right. We're not we're not gonna stop at that give me, giant. Give me three words. On three that. words. <laughs> um, believe it when see. <laughs> Uh, that's four words. I <laughs> believe it's hyphenated. I hate pants. <laughs> and I'm so scared if that's true. We are true. going to talk about, because we, we, so much comic book news, we're going to talk about the trailer for No Country for Old Men, the new Coen Brothers movie. Holy. Uh, I have a confession to make. I have a confession. You were in that movie? <laughs> I wish. That wouldn't be a confession. That'd be a brag. <laughs> That'd be a profession. Uh, I stopped watching the trailer halfway through, even though you told it's me cool. we were going to talk about it, because I don't want to see any more this of this. This trailer doesn't, you can watch the whole trailer, because it's still very vague. This movie... Had me at hello. Mm-hmm. It, it oh, cannot. Steve is jerking wait. himself. Not off. only that, that means it's a good in a good way. It's a good one. He's smiling. <laughs> Not, Not only the that, bad one where because, he went to... <laughs> because of all the stuff I read out that of that mad um, jerk off. Yeah, like, we're I, like, hate God, I, hate, I hate myself. I hate myself. I hate those people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm thinking and I'm ignoring that. Sorry, sorry, yes, sorry. Please do. I didn't. Um, um, uh, was it Can that it debuted? That had all the, I think so. Yeah. When I read all the hubbub coming out of Can about this movie yeah. and how people are talking about Javier Bardem and being oh. the scariest Dude. guy ever put on film, Dude. like <laughs> I don't want to see a frame more of this movie. Jesus. I want to just go in and have my world rocked. Watch the trailer. I can mm-hmm. barely describe what it's about. It's like a well, hunter in the mm-hmm. West and rural and. Yeah, uh, Josh the, Brolin. It seems to be Josh Brolin. Josh yeah. Brolin, who actually, I think he's he's, he's I think he's comeback. growing into a really good kind of gruff Nick Nolte esque character. Mm. It's like he looks like Nick Nolte in his prime. You know yeah. what I mean? But he Grizzled. finds he finds a, a like a boot. A, yeah, like a little boot, like <laughs> Sam Elliott, who I love. But he um, he finds a bag full of money and then uh, and some bodies, and he tries to kind of keep the money for himself. And this guy who is Javier Bardem, who's I don't want to know. After the money, I don't want to know plot. Comes and I mean, knocking. Yeah, I mean, and so it good. seems like it's a it's a it's a suspense movie. And by the Coen brothers, it's what? like a it's like a throwback well, to Blood Simple. Yeah, it's you know, yeah. It's like, yeah. Oh, this is they've been I'm, having some fun lately, yeah. and now it's like you know what? what it's exactly what I like. Yeah. They I didn't see Intolerable Cruelty nor oh you didn't I did it's, it's okay excellent I don't know if it's excellent oh it's okay. good it's good. or and what was the one they just did after that uh, they just did it. The Tom Hanks one? Yeah, Lady Colors, I did see. Oh, I did yeah. not enjoy it. I didn't like it. Yeah. I feel like I didn't see that one. They, this is getting back to the blood simpleness of that. Yeah. And even Miller's Crossing, which is my one of my favorite movies ever. Mm-hmm. And it's 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 not being totally goofball. Even though they start, they did start up, but Blood Simple isn't goofball y. Oh no. But and they're <laughs> really good at at um at really outrageous, peculiar characters and worlds. Yeah, yeah. And this there. looks like <clears throat> that it's, it's that in a smaller yeah. in a smaller way. P- really subtly peculiar people, not caricatures. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. I can't beyond can't wait. Pants. So, TV time once again, my friends. Love it. Uh, we got a lot of cool stuff to cover. First and foremost, um, we all started watching a new show on the BBC called Jackal, which is a take on a modern take 
on the classic Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. My brother was Stevenson. Yeah. Which you found out from email. the book, huh? Yeah. <laughs> a fan from the show. Yeah. A fan emailed, emailed us, us this, yeah. right? Yeah, and yeah. Jeff, you watched the first episode and basically said, you gotta we watch all it. need to watch this yeah. and talk about this. How many um, episodes did you watch? I watched three. Darn. <laughs> yeah, because I only watched one. There's a couple things you'll probably say about it that get resolved, and actually, even Steve said. Um, so the, basically, the concept is uh, pretty brilliant, which is uh, Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde kind of exist. Yeah, but the, what I love <clears throat> about it is it that we don't come into it at the origin. We come no. in and things are already rolling, and, and we have to catch up. I yeah, love, I love that. That as a was viewer. it is it was this epic. throughout this entire pilot. Mm-hmm. I have to say, the a brilliant evolution of knowledge yeah like you get one little pit and you're like oh that's cool then you get the next little bit and you're like whoa cool <laughs> and the next little bit and you're like that erases what you just you're like oh so it's not it's that awesome like yeah. it's like yeah. what usually <clears throat> happens in cliffhangers of episodes yep. is happening throughout the entire app I yeah i don't own a black van yeah <laughs> dude <laughs> i don't own a black van oh my god yeah. Or like, yeah. yeah oh my god there's only one most important thing and in like, your life right now <laughs> I, <laughs> spoiler over this because well, before we do spoilers you know, gonna, it's going to come to BBC do... America so yes. oh it is yes. okay, we, so say, mo- let's say something before spoilers because <clears throat> we got to get them to, to download this watch it it's great or watch, or watch it. it on BBC America not, yes. Yes. not illegally but we don't mind it's not illegal right now to watch. you can't even watch it if you want well but it's still illegal anyway uh, um, uh, this yeah I, <clears throat> I love the way the shot the, the lead actor is really really good James Nesbitt he's amazing. amazing yeah I mean and what a dream role right dude because he is, like, so nebbishy and, like, apologetic as the doctor. And then swarthy and, like... And I don't know, yeah. did they... Did, was there, like, a well, thing so about him? Spoiler this bit. Well, I, I mean, said. it's just well, I mean, him. It's, it's, because it's, it's, that, No, but the cool thing, because I was like, so how are they going to... This that is, is what true. I thought was perfect. That is true. You do Camus. not see him. You know, you know well, that this is what 90% I thought, of this episode has spoiled. But everyone, but everyone, everyone, everyone is, like, talking about what he is, and you're like, so what is... Because we all know the right. legend. Yeah. So what... Is he ter- get more muscular? Yeah. Right. Is he saying that, you know? Yeah. And then he just turns around, and, and there's that whole build-up. When he turns, yeah. you're like, so what's he going to turn around and look like? And it's just him, and you're like, oh, it's just him. And then his performance kicks, and you're like, oh, this is... Yeah. Okay, so actually, actually but, you're, but I'm also a little, a little bit like... Different. Right, right. Yeah. But I'm a little bit like... Oh, really? And then and then when he does something that's really freaking weird with the teeth, you're like, oh, so there's more... T-. And then when he's crawling later, yeah. you're like, yeah. so there's some shit. It's just like the perfect seeds are planted, and like yeah. I said, evolution of knowledge, you know? Yeah. It was, it was, so, it was really fun. I actually enjoyed... I mean, I watched three episodes straight from beginning to end. I would have um, loved to have done that. It was amazing. Because yeah. the next, dude, some of the ones, the next, the third one is like, what? Yeah. The, because basically it becomes uh, The Incredible Hulk. Yeah. For yeah. an episode. And then it's now something else. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like. Awesome. It's awesome. It, it, it keeps it, flipping itself on its head. Even the yeah. second episode is completely flipped on its head. Yeah. Like, well, because the, the end of the first episode. Careful with I'm me. not going to do anything. Okay. Oh. The end of the second <laughs> episode. Spoiler. <laughs> the end of the first episode, for me, I walked to the end of the first episode and. And what he, he has this conversation on the phone, and you think, okay, this is what the whole series is going to be about. It's going to be about this dance between... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the second episode. No, there's one... He just... Because you were... Like, I was just watching it when you were watching it. Yeah. At the end of the first episode, he... Protecting the family. Protecting the family. It, you feel like it's going to be all about protecting the family. What, what was the conversation on the, at the end of the first one? Oh, at the end of the... Are you talking well, about the second one? I'm stop it. Careful. careful. Right. Stop. I'm just going to say just that. stop this The right reason now. I even said it... Because isn't the... Well, the I, I, well, we're not going to talk spoiler. <laughs> the reason I, I even said it is because you think that that's what the whole series is going to be about. Yeah. And it turns out, no, it's it's not about that at all. It's about this and this and this. and Or we don't even know. I mean, we're only there's only four episodes out. So. Who is he talking to on the phone? He's, he's, ta- he's giving a message oh, to himself. Oh, 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 that's not a phone. It's I know. It's a recorder. Well, he talks on the phone first and then he talks yeah, he's but, talking to the private eye. But in episode two, there's a way yeah, b- much bigger phone thing. And yeah, I was like, I didn't mean what that. the? You got to burn me. Anyway, burn. we should keep moving. But yeah. Yeah. So anyway, Jekyll, see it. Hunted down like yeah. Dr. Jekyll, like Hyde would. By the way, first time it, I ever got the fact that it's Mr. Hyde. Oh, Hyde. yeah, because he hides. Oh, you just got it? Yeah. You just thank did God, that. thank God, because I've had some bad re- revelations. But it's okay. like he, he's Mr. Hyde, he's Mr. Hidden. <laughs> like never ending story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Don't touch don't yourself. Even... Don't touch. I... Don't no, no, no. Touch. It's okay. Don't even. Don't even. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, real quick, I also wanted to bring up uh, a couple fans have been emailing in about um, me not talking about the Doctor Who season finale. Right. You're a big Doctor Who fan. Big Doctor Who fan. And writer <clears throat> Jekyll. And writer Jekyll. Doctor Who. Well, BBC. They're all 
it's the same person. They're, they're um, it's a lot of, over there. Yeah, it's like yeah. The, it's like the royal family. The it is in, really in, inbreeding. The Artie family. Um, but uh, I hadn't seen any of season two. I saw season one, which with Chris, uh, Christopher Eccleston, mm -hmm. who is the guy who plays the invisible guy in Heroes. Yes, yes. he was the Doctor awesome. for one season. Um, that was sort of my initiation into the Doctor, and then my, my buddy Liam showed me a bunch of all like old stuff, which was all great. Um, really liked Christopher Eccleston. The new Doctor came on. I literally went over to Liam's house and watched the entire series in like, like a sleepover. Two nights. Seriously, it was unbelievable. It's so much better than the first season. Cool. It's way more like emotionally charged. It's like it's just hardcore stuff happens. And supposedly, and the season finale was heart wrenching. Um, and supposedly, the third season, which is now being aired on uh, uh, Sci Fi Channel, is even better. So if you're not watching Doctor Who, start. You gotta watch from the. Big, I'd say start with season one from two years ago. That's us. But, uh, uh, two of us. Yeah. That is. You guys, you gotta start. Yeah. Really well, hey, well, we'll make a deal. when you watch the Shield, Shield's which is the greatest list. show so, ever. So then you will never see. Oh, no, no, I'm just kidding. Bastard. I didn't say that. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch on my I PS3. I hurt you like Mick uh, Mac. So the other thing we need to talk about. That's what um, he just said. We did. I know you didn't. Don't tell <laughs> yeah. him. We uh, we do have to talk <laughs> about the Emmy nominations came out. Yeah, we yeah. Talk about the primetime Emmy nominations and one Emmy nomination in particular, our favorite friends, Boom. Avatar. Right? I think we're pretty much responsible for the Emmy nomination. I, I, I I'm gonna say, so. say that I agree. I, you know, I think it's totally around show influence. <laughs> I think you might be right. <laughs> awesome. How cool. Yeah. yeah. So there was a lot of really cool. Of course, it's up against. The Simpsons and oh. uh, yeah, a couple other uh, Robot Chicken, I think. Mm. Um, but uh, so there were a couple really cool things that came out of this. They changed the way the Emmys are nominations are voted on. Mm. They changed it two years ago, and now they're kind of seeing reaping the re rewards, which is a lot of non. You know, it used to just be like Seinfeld, 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 friends, 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 friends. You know, that everybody mm. was just oh, it was the same shows over and over getting nominated, same people getting mm. nominated. They changed the way that the voting happened, so we're starting to see a lot of really cool sort of new faces, like yeah. the people like American Ferrara mm -hmm. from Ugly Betty, who this yeah. is her first season, which is amazing. What if she just won a Golden Masioki. Globe? Masioki. Masioki. Yeah. Masioki, Masioki it? or whatever it is yeah, from, from Heroes. Heroes. So Hero? Heroes. I don't think he's very good. Are you oh, doing? I do. He's so charming. Yeah. yeah. Very charming. Emmy charming? Yeah. Oh, anyway, uh, uh, so Heroes got nominated, which is, which is really of cool. Of Heroes, there's a couple other actors I would have. Uh, I can't believe Walton yeah. Goggins didn't get nominated. Who? Walton Goggins from The Shield. The best show oh, ever. I was like, Walton Goggins? It sounded like a like fake name. I know, I was like, yeah. I thought he Goggins. was being an ass. Yeah. What about Walton Goggins, huh? Boo, yeah. look at me, I'm big and man. <laughs> uh, so there were some really cool nominations. We did just want to hit the Avatar thing. The rest of the stuff, I mean, there's, you know, you can all see Dennis on the websites. Leary. Dennis Leary from Rescue for Me. For last yeah. year's Rescue Me. Yes, of course, so. for last year's Rescue Me. Um, of course, um, The Sopranos. You Ricky know. Gervais for Extras, which is a show I love. Ricky Gervais for Extras. Entourage got nominated, which was nice. Uh, yeah. so, I think Sopranos is going to probably... So they'll probably give it to Sopranos, although they've won so many times. E. Falco, for the first time in, like, f two years, three years, yeah. she won a bunch in a row or nominated in a row. Mm -hmm. But um, right. anyway, so there's a couple other pieces of TV news that were very titillating. Uh, do either of you guys watch uh, Criminal Minds? No. no. But I, oh, I heard That's about funny. This. You know why? Because it is probably one of the top rated shows, if not the number one television show of That's, all of last year. It happens. Surprised the hell out of me. Yeah, yeah. The, all that stuff. Like, well, everybody loves Raymond. <clears throat> yeah, well, no, I know. Because, yeah. So well, here's the deal the <laughs> news I... that came is uh, uh, Manny, Manny, did you kill my father, Potankin, uh, <laughs> has left Criminal Minds. Wow. And he's not get fired. Do you he watch Criminal left. Minds? I've seen some episodes. It's not very good. Mm. Um, but I mean? can see why people do. Creative differences. Oh, interesting. He wanted to be creative and they, and they didn't want, they didn't want or, that. Yeah. Well, but it's sort of weird because Mandy Patinkin was a really interesting choice to be on Criminal Minds. Yeah. Because he's very he's a very theater guy. He's like a musical theater guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Did and you guys? Yeah. Did you watch Dead Like Me? <laughs> wow, you're not going to hurt really you. Thought it, did you? I, I know. was going to smack you. I was like, did you guys watch Dead Like Me? You got him trained. I w I've seen a couple episodes like on the reruns. Yeah, he was good on that. Stuff. Yeah, he was good on that. Very good. He was very good. The first season's great. I I didn't even really watch the second season. I'm a big fan of Mandy Patinkin. I think he's great. Yeah, I, I do too. But this is a big deal. I mean, you walk away from the lead role on the number one rated show in the country. Like, yeah. Wow, that has to be some big ass creative differences. It's like a Caruso. People the Caruso. Yeah, but I don't think. Well, but see, but the other thing is then the. 
it begs the question. <laughs> yeah. Caruso. Yeah. It, it, to me, it begs the question of Talk soon. what creative yeah. difference were you having that the crap last season you were perfectly yeah. fine creatively with? Like the show well, is not good. The creative so. difference is, is, is yeah. It's like it's, it's like I want to spend more Alice, time with my family. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like an Alan Smithy film. It's, it's like unreconcilable differences. Yeah. yeah, it's like I don't really want to say what was wrong. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the other thing we should talk about real quick is, um, you know, we talked about Bionic Woman and Flash Gordon and a couple other new shows that are coming yeah. up. There's actually going to be. We didn't talk be, about Flash Gordon, but we didn't. Well, we talked about that there was going to be a new together series together with us, never on the show. It's really? cool. Oh, yeah. all right. Well, whatever. Happening. There's actually. <laughs> I will say before we talk about this real quick, there are some amazing looking shows. Life looks like it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I'm uh, excited about his damages. Oh, Damages. have you seen the billboard? The Glenn Close one, yeah. Keith's just, brother did that billboard that you see everywhere. Oh, Although cool. I will say that, cool. oh, but you're a fan of The Shield. Because Glenn Close was on The Shield, right? And amazing on it. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Steve, Steve, thank you. I don't know. You know that was like best week on no, awesome Glenn Close. I just was like, her. I saw the poster where it was like Glenn Close's face and then some guy. And I was like, And oh, Rose what? Byrne from, uh, yeah. anyway, what were we going to say? Uh, Dirty Sexy Money. Looks amazing. Oh, those are three things I love. I know. That looks amazing. There's another one. Oh, Journeyman. Yeah. Gotta check a giant. I heard we heard that's awesome. Yeah. It's like Quantum Leap. So, dude, and I, the, my guy from Rome, love that guy from Rome. Um, but Flash Gordon, we were also excited about. I hate Butt Flash Gordon. Until. <laughs> butt. <laughs> butt Flash Gordon. You know, he's you know, rolling up the wrong. Crack. Well, Bill Gordon, the guy who likes to flash <laughs> like, his butt. Bill um, Gordon. <laughs> yeah, he's both Butt Flash Gordon. Um, so, but Flash Gordon. Uh, we saw the, they came out with the, uh, I don't know what you call it, trailer promo, teaser, teaser promo? whatever. Uh, with, and the flat, with the Queen music? With the Queen music, mm. which they were not confirming or denying until right. we saw that. What did you guys think? Mm, I mean, <laughs> that's what I did. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna, it looks like I'm going to create some hate, but I mean, it looks like Stargate SG1. Like, it, oh, it looks like, like hate. Yeah, it, looks, it looks a hell of sure a lot worse than Stargate I'm sure they're great, shows. Sure they're SG1, great yeah. shows, but when you see just the promos for them that have goofy outfits and cheesy... But at the same time, we were just, like, noodling through the original Flash Gordon, or not the original, but the 80 Flash Gordon. Mm, and, noodling. And, uh... <laughs> often but it was still even, good. It's terribly cheesy. It holds up. And it looks bad. And this but show it's supposed to be probably cheesy. looks as bad. And I think this show is supposed to be cheesy as well. I, I disagree. And, it, and I'm going to embrace that. I mean, there's something, uh, there's something that puts a smile on my face when I watch really campy this kind I of think, thing that owns it. I think Unless Flash think Gordon serious. is trying to be the next Battlestar Galactica. Oof. And I think they're going to rape... Children. <laughs> I saw the promo they and I was like, "Quote you on the poster." You saw the promo. You were like, "They're gonna take an ice cream truck and they're gonna pull <laughs> up to the store and rapes children." <laughs> Alex Albrecht. That's totally what's dude. Mark my words. Keep your children safe. Do not watch this. Yeah. Show. Well, if you're, if you think they're not man. embracing, not, they are the not. Cheese. There's no way they're embracing the cheese. This is them thinking they've made Battlestar Galactica too. Yeah, but Battles, I, I kind of agree. I don't know. But using I, the Queen I, song, that, using sense the that song. Tenor. I sense yeah, the tenor of the, of the thing of, like, we take ourselves real seriously. Yeah. It's like... Dude, and Ming the Mercer was because, floating? Uh, because, because... He's on Heelys? Because, dude... <laughs> no one moves around like that on Heelys. I, we know. The perception of Battlestar Galactica before the new one was the same. It kind of like, oh, it's so cheesy, nostalgia, right. cheese, and look how Ronald D. Moore made it all gritty and real. Right. And we can do that, too. I, and who knows? Maybe. maybe but, we're, although Flash Gordon is a I'm lexicon of, you know, of it's always been cheesy <clears throat> yeah. since the beginning. Well, but All right, so, I guess that's TV. So anyway, that's TV. Let's do some fun TV. stuff with punching. TV. Video games. So we have E3 last week. It wrapped all up, and uh, we're going to talk about our E3 um, mm. fallout. <laughs> the biggest fallout being that two more people in this room own a PS3 now. That's right, we didn't. Yeah. And it's not Alex. I'm the Steve lone holdout. <laughs> I'm the lone holdout. Steve and Dan bought <laughs> PS3s. Yes. Dan? It was Fallout, I, I will admit. It wasn't Fallout 3, which is very um, exciting. But. No. I remember uh, Dan called me and goes, I just did something. And I go, what did right. you do? Bitch away, sir. <laughs> okay. Bitch well, away. don't bitch away. I was, What's your experience? Well, here's well, the funny thing is, We too, haven't talked about this yet. No. Than, I've held it in. I, the interesting thing is, I call up Jeff, and I was like, should I get a PS3 now, 
or wait till August 14th when Lair comes out. Why, why, why should I get it now? Because I was like, I had a free day where I could go get it. Right. Um, no, you should know. And you, and you said, I don't no, know. No, no. Cut to, let me just cut to in time. We're going to cut back. <laughs> cut, jump forward in time. Alex is on the phone. And I said, I've just bought a PS3. And you're like, why? And I was like, well, I was going to wait till August 14th to get it <laughs> when Lair comes out. Because you're like, why? There's no games. And I was like, blah, blah, blah. And then I called Jeff. And you're like, why do you say that? And then I go, I go, and then I called Jeff. And then you're like, and what did he say? And I was like, I, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> you convinced him you to convinced buy. You convinced me to buy. Literally, you did a Jedi mind trick on him over the phone. Yeah. I don't even remember what he said. For. But I bought it. You said you were like, you're like, all oh, the listeners are saying you should get it now. You're giving me ah. you're like, there's people are emailing on the forums. You said now's a good time to get it, and I was like, I, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Steve knows that right. if you ask me whether or not you should buy something, the answer, the answer is, is always, always yes. yes. Someone asks if you're a god. You say you yes. Say yes. So what was your experience like? All right. Take us from getting. So I buy it. I buy the yes. I buy the freaking Best Buy hundred dollar thing, which I have to do. So it's it's much more expensive than originally anticipated. But and, what and the Best still, Buy. 99 oh. bucks for the insurance, which oh, is so okay. worth it. Yes. So I have to. Of course, to. of course. All right. Get home, plug it in. It looks like ass. Absolute ass. I'm like, they gave me a fucking, they gave me a PS2 somehow. Then I realized, yeah. then I realized I had to set it to uh, high def. To high, high def. def. Okay. Right. Fine. It looks way better. I'm like, okay, thank God. Um, <laughs> that was really scary. I'm like, fucked it. Because yeah, no, I'm no, skipping no. some things that were also very upsetting. Why? Um, well, don't do that. First of all, somebody ate his sandwich. I plug it in. I have to use the fucking Ethernet from the other thing. Because my wireless. Wait, wait, wait. You're not doing wireless? Why? I had to. My brother has to. I'm using his Wi Fi. I got to hook something up in a weird way. Okay, but. Okay. All right. Fine. What did I call it that they didn't have? I, you were mad that it didn't come with a high def cable. Oh, yeah. So HDMI. I go to. I can't even hook right. it up. I, bring, I got back from Best Buy. I'm ready to play. Yeah. I can't hook it up. Everyone knows that but you. Maybe everyone well, knows not, that but that's me. That's not Dan's fault. That's Sony's fault. But now. I agree. But now it's <laughs> sinking in because no one told me. You were like, oh, yeah, just go to, be, get, go to Amazon, buy five. No one has to say, oh, also while you're there, buy $50 cables. Well, no, I didn't. Buy I didn't. I bought a coin for, thir- for 15 or something. But, yeah. but so still. But still, why is Xbox. A hundred dollars cheaper and gives me more shit. Hey, dude. Why I, am I spending more not, money for true. less shit? Dude, you said you weren't using your your Wi-Fi because I want to use Wi-Fi on my Xbox 360. So I had to pay another hundred dollars to get the Wi-Fi adapter to plug into my Xbox. But if I want to go online on the Xbox 360, out of the box, I can. If I want to go on PS3, no, out of the box, if I you want to play online for, out of the box, you have to pay an extra fifty dollars, which you don't on PS3. I'm not okay, a true. Sony fanboy okay, here. I'm just me, trying to let me go forward. Let me okay, go clear forward. Okay, on what we're talking. Let me go about. forward. This the is controller, Dan's experience. The controller. I have to charge out of the thing. Yes. It's a USB cable that's the length of us sitting here. Who sits that close to their obviously going to be a high definition television? Who says <laughs> you do? You're the uh, only one who's got some weird so you're You have a, a smaller TV and a bed that's like right there. <laughs> who? Who? Steve, Steve, you're screwed just like me. First, you're going to have to charge it. Steve knows what, knows what he's getting into. And when I have to, and I have to, char- I can't buy new Don't batteries. Don't bring Steve into this. It yeah, doesn't no. take batteries, so I have to plug it in. This is retarded. A- every step of the way was just a less good experience than it. Also, uh, I love this. What the the menu? The, oh. So I want. I don't. I didn't want to buy any games because I'm already spending way more money than was anticipated. <laughs> oh, I have to buy a headset. Doesn't come. The controller doesn't come with a headset. Right. So what? I have to go also buy a headset. Bluetooth headset, right? But no, I just bought Xbox, a headset Xbox, that Xbox. plugs in. Oh, okay. Xbox comes with one with the controller. I didn't need to go back to the store to buy one. But you still have to pay fifty dollars more to p- to play online with the. Okay, but now the prices are adding up because <laughs> I had to buy the component cables and the. Okay, I'm being fifteen well, dollars and I'm fifteen dollars. All right, all right. I'm just saying. All That's right, thirty. You're close to fifty. Let me, I'm just which saying. is still less than the hundred dollars. Right, the wireless. Right, excuse adapter. me. Excuse me. Okay. So and the fifty dollars. So after right. these purchases, no. I'm ready to play a game. Uh, Je- Jeff is super stoked. I played Stardust HD. I played Calling All Cars. Really, down, don't, you don't need to buy a game. Download this game. Okay, so I go online. Oh, they cost $10 each. <laughs> well, you didn't think buy. they would be? I thought I could play the demos for free. Like, every game they don't on have demos? A- a Microsoft. Some games do. Some oh. games do. Man, the cool games didn't. Did you play Super Rubber Dub? Listen, so I, da- so I, so I, I downloaded those games. I paid for them. And... Terrible. The menu system. Agreed. E- every like everything about Microsoft. Uh, about I'm so happy. everything about the Xbox I, 360. I'm just happy because Alex. I almost bought a PS3 Alex. when we left. When I have to download something, I then have to install it. Why? What? 
It's, I have to wait to download it fucking five minutes. I have to wait another five minutes to install it. Why am I doing that? Because it has a hard drive. This it comes with a hard drive. PS3. Yeah, but it does it on the hard drive of the Xbox. The PS3 is to PC what 360 is to Mac. Wow. That may upset you a little bit for me to say it, but it's dead. I don't need it. I mean, In I don't his need, eyes, why do I need drivers? True. Why do I need to know the There's no drivers? The, no, but installing like da- everything is cl- the the men dude. The menu screen is not. It's all like the pointing the, with the. I have to like the typing in was 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 guessing what I was gonna say, and I no. Would, you can use that on the side. There's a whole menu of that's yeah, much yeah, quicker yeah. than it is quicker. Other than when I'm typing in my. My it doesn't know my name and my whatever and and it, oh and, so it's, a and it's quirt and it's quirt it's it's quirty whatever so it it's not like I can easily and th- you can it. plug a USB keyboard right into the PS3 and it knows I how can, to use it I can but I'm not doing that <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm glad that that's an option on that so are you it. unhappy with your purchase okay. are you blaming me Super Star no. HD is great thank you Calling on Christ great Rubber Dub what are you looking at me it's awesome Rubber Dub is like playing one of those these games yeah but then you can do that yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it's a, like tilty it's games, dark, yeah, but with the, with the tilty controller. Okay. Fun. All this being said, I also bought MotoStorm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because I just really was for some reason really Jones to play that I game. Know, you kept saying. I will say I, I'm wrong. Dirt does look better. Okay. In some in some respects, it's so much fun. Right. It's Good. a great game. Yeah, my Good. boss. I mean, I'm actually playing. I'm upset that I'm I haven't been home in a while, and I'm kind of bummed. Um, because you want to be playing. Because I really want to be playing that game. And it's really so, fun. It's it's gorgeous, and it's just fun. It's a really fun. Yeah. Right. Thing. So for, for, okay. So what's brass your overall? Tacks, yeah. Brass tax. Please do not. Are please. you glad you bought it? Or are you like Mr. Regretter Pants? I'm I'm wearing Regretter Pants while enjoying playing Motor Storm. You can't do both. You I have mean, to take off your pants in order to I enjoy. Could. I mean, you I just like one. you could buy. You could there was a lot of of play. pants optional. There was a lot this of like not each, a pants each part. step that I had to do was difficult in some way. It was not easy. It was not out of the box plug in and everything's intuitive. Well, I I actually found it to be quite the opposite. I I loved the fact that I took it home. I I hooked oh, it up I, to my wireless network and yeah. everything went swimming. And you were able to play and talk to people online? No, you don't have a headset. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And what, Let's move right. on. What game are you playing online with people? I I'm not playing any games. That's weird because right when I, I got my 360, I was playing a million games online with my I millions could. of friends. Ah. I, I have tons of friends now that thanks to the. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Pants. so my name is Dan, my name is Danny T R S. And what's your nice. name? You want to give your what's name? Your name? I haven't he hasn't got it yet. He hasn't put his. What's yours? Because I'm pronounceable. I have friend requested you. I have too many friends. Oh, thanks to all the great All right, right, right. Okay, so moving on. So so E3 followed other than Dan. We didn't really talk at all about PC games. No. And there are some cool ones coming and out. I got a fat ass PC now. I want yeah. to play some shit. It is. It has been. It's been gaining some weight. That PC. Um, the chief among them, we have to discuss. Yeah. Crisis. Gorgeous. I love awesome. this game so badly. Yeah. I can not stand it. Yeah. Um, have you Have you heard about? I mean, everybody knows. Far Cry. Know, everybody knows Far Cry. We all know it's going to be gorgeous. Of course. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. Well, two. Two years ago, the E3 back before yeah. they play, they had showed it off, but. It was choppy. It looked gorgeous, uh-huh. but it was choppy, and it was choppy on the most expensive PCs you could purchase at yeah. the time. And they were always looks yeah, it was now. like oh, it looked amazing. I hadn't seen it since then, so that's why when we saw like five seconds of it, yeah. Like, uh, and uh. everybody also very concerned about what the gameplay is going to be like. Yes, and it looks sweet. It does look cool. Yeah, the, yeah. It, tons of like emergent. Gameplay stuff where you have these superpowers, you can be super fast and then switch to strength, so your legs are strong, so you can leap really far. Mm. There's a there's a grapple mechanic, so you can grab somebody by the throat. That's cool. And carry them around by the throat and do other stuff and like use sunshine? them as a shield. Oh, ooh, that's cool. Yeah, you can shield. And then and then toss them thirty feet with your super strength. That's pretty cool. Amazing. So can I play it on my PS3? No. Why did I get that thing? <laughs> ah, that's funny. <laughs> I'm going to say I'm not a huge first person. I, it's been a long time since I've played a first person shooter on the PC that I've really gotten into. Half-Life 2? Not so much. I played no? it a little bit, but just oh, didn't get into it. it. And the reason why is because the skills, they go away when you're used to playing on a controller. Uh, I mean, really, I feel like, because I used to be like liquid death right. on P, like, you know, now you're sort Quake of like 2. It was like, blah, blah, blah. Solid state, no, almost yeah. dead. Mostly dead. Mostly dead. <laughs> Mostly dead. Mostly. Well, you know, talking about games that you want to play on your PS3, one of the glaring omissions from last week's show is that we did not talk at all about Metal Gear Solid 4. Yes. Huh. I is there say, a reason that we didn't talk about Metal Gear Solid 4? I've never been. I, I, I enjoyed Metal Gear Solid on the PS1. 
Mm -hmm. I actually enjoyed the hell out of it. I did did not buy a PS2. Sort of skipped that. Um, I accidentally wow. purchased a Dreamcast. <laughs> uh, my, my wallet Works jacked it up. I did. I tripped, fell. My wallet came out. It, it rang through. And I was like, what's a Dreamcast? And they <laughs> throw me right out of the store. And uh, yeah, that happens. Yeah, me too. So I didn't... So, so, well, you saw the trailer. We all watched the trailer together. There was nothing in the trailer besides gameplay footage of, of well, homoerotic yeah. stabbing. <laughs> and to me, yeah. that's... I mean, that's those Hiji- games can be fun, but... That's what Hideo Hiji- Kojima... Means in Japanese, homoerotic stabbing. Homoerotic stabbing. <laughs> um, what do you think of the PS3 owner? What do you think of the system this seller? This game that you're now going to be able to play. Aren't you excited? Mm. <clears throat> you get that honor to um, buy that. You know what is cool, by the way? I did. I could buy Ratchet and Clank too because now I have a PS2. I almost oh, bought yeah. the classes yeah, to play through again. Yeah. I know, that's well, that's exactly the other compact. thing. That's the other yeah. reason why I'm. I was more excited to get a PS3 you after get our it. whole crazy get it thing. Around. When we yeah, say I'm gonna have to get, get it, it now it, that right. everybody in this freaking garage has I mean, one. <laughs> your cockroaches have one. Be prepared for what? Dude, I'm, the cockroaches are freaking crazy online. Dude, they are crazy. They kick my ass in resistance. Well, because there's ten each with its own button. I thought the fight choreography was awesome, just like the trailer from last year. It was like that, like things that no one ever could possibly. It's do. so cool though. Yeah. Um, but uh, did it make you excited about the game? Why? I mean, what? <laughs> Are oh, you already excited about? The no, game? I've never really played the other game. I've, I've played one and two in. I played moments of them with like over friends' houses and stuff. Um, so the only thing, the only people that can possibly get excited by that trailer are people that care about the story yeah. of the Steve, game. Steve, you, you're a big Metal Gear Solid guy, right? I like the second one. The third one was weird. Are you excited about this one? Yep. Yeah, I think that's about that's how what's I feel. happening. Yeah, we all. Are, I actually yeah. read Nintendo put out a line of books, Ultra or something. I read the Metal Gear Solid book I put, based on the first Nintendo game. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> and mean, he <laughs> pegged you, Seth. <laughs> all right, um, I want to bring up a couple of other quick news yeah. bits. Uh, the first one is that it's it's heavily it's been heavily implied that Halo Three will not have online co-op. It will only be what? local co-op. They say we Why know. Why would they do that? Well, the explanation that I hate they that haven't I confirmed hate it, Halo. but they 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 have said that uh, that we know everybody wants it. It's high on our list. We want to try to put out a patch after it comes out. But no. oh yeah, oh, like Gears of having, War, put out that patch to, to the, add another Evidently, player or whatever. The, the problem that they're having is that the levels are so big that you yeah. can be over here with your whole squad of dudes and your co-op partner can be over here, like miles away on the map. With your, his and they've got to render and the And you whole... can't, how can you? Uh, That's what they're saying. So, um, Dude, tether. Jeff M. Cry, though, about that. I mean, that, is, that is like... Jeff M. Cry and with friends. That's right? horrible. What's M. Cry? Oh, he's, it's, a, he was, he's it's a... It's a Neo Gaff thing. It's like a, uh, it's a nerd. I, thing. I um <laughs> yeah. I I kind of didn't think it would be. I was hoping that it would be, but I felt like it wasn't going to be. Really? I'm I feel not like how can See, I, but it sucks too. Yeah, but I for mean, me after after the after Gears of War, I feel like shame on you, especially a game of this caliber. There's no I excuse. Agree. I agree. There's no excuse. You know what's going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. You told us the last time okay. that you couldn't do it because of technical issues. Crackdown could do it. Every, That's anybody true. can do it. do it. But let me, all in all cars can do it. Well, let's, okay, well, if we take them at their word, would you rather have gigantic levels with bop, bop, crazy bop. stuff? Yeah. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna throw out my premise? No, I would like Would you rather premise. have giant let levels? Me ask you I would rather have co-op. Gears I would rather have co-op. You'd rather have gears like confined yes, levels? I, yes, and I will tell yeah, you why. Was, was gears not more... fun with the levels too small? Did I no. say, why are these levels too small? I hate this no, co-op but the other thing I will say is, That does sound like something you would say. But the yeah. other thing I will say is, <laughs> I played Gears of War all the way through on all difficulties. I would did not play Halo 2 even all the way through. Because for mm. me, the way I experience gameplay, the way I enjoy gameplay is playing with my friends. Right, I agree. If I pl- so getting Halo 3 and just going, wow, these levels are great and big. Well, you can well still, I'm going to have a sandwich you and can go call my buddy. You can still sit next to each other and do that. No, but who's doing that? Actually, Dave, Dave and I can do it. Which well, is we can cool. all do it if we hang out together. No, let's stop house. talking about us doing right, each anyway. other. <laughs> yeah. And let's move on, let's shall we? Duck them up. I uh, real fast. We'll bring that up. It, it's a it's this game that kind of got swept under the rug. Steve, <laughs> Steve M. Cry. That was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my Steve, life. Steve M. You, you looked at me like quickie, quickie. Ass- all right, all right. Like, Dan's an asshole. It's a- <laughs> <laughs> you went, Dan's an asshole. It's a DS game. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you remember those old uh, uh, Daffy Duck com- cartoons where the the pencil would come from the sky and erase yeah. it and you'd be pissed? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the game. Oh. Wait, the what system? DS. DS. You awesome. play you and you play? erase him and draw awesome. him. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Right. Check Beyond this out. Cool. Feature, 
there's a part where he has to find something in the dark, and the way you do it, you close the DS, and you listen, and he goes a little bit over to the left, and you push the left bumper, and he goes a little oh. bit over to the right, and you push the right bumper. Oh! Awesome, right? I love the DS! Yeah, they had to get special permission from uh, Nintendo to do that, because usually when you close it, it goes to sleep. Oh! Awesome, right? So how are they going to do that? They're wizards. <laughs> is it you were you like, oh, the there, you really owned the Dan's an idiot also. Yeah. And then you were like, I'm the asshole. Wizards. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway. anyway. So I, we can all agree that the, we, love, we, we love the DS. Uh, Play that back in slow-mo for them to see how serious he was about Dan. Not gonna do that. Dan's not going to sell me down the river like that. Yeah, all right. We're out. Dude, rocking. So before we get to our emails for today, uh, we do want to thank Mike Beverly from Toronto, Canada. We totally forgot to mention at the top of the show. Is that the car one? The car? This yeah. Is the of the car. Isn't that awesome? Dude, like, the grill of a car. It's these so guys, sweet. you guys. Yeah. We got so wrapped up in your. Uh, my lust for justice. Civic duties. <laughs> your just lust. My just lust. Your lustus. My lustus. That's what it is. <laughs> And my now hammer of our episode has a title. Yes. <laughs> the Hammer of Lust. All right. Uh, uh, so anyway, we want to thank Mike uh, from Toronto, Canada. I heard that they don't pronounce the ending. Um, uh, and before we go forward, I would all, we also want to thank our sponsor, GV.com. If Brand you guys, new sponsor. Hello, Welcome GV. Welcome to sponsor, GV.com. Sponsor so, dance. GV.com. Oh, no, no. Do the full sponsor dance. No, not just the beginning no, part. No, no, They get that for the first episode. We'll see you next week. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, GV.com. Okay, if you don't know what GV.com is, it is basically YouTube... On for crack stuff. for video game stuff. Really cool. We, it's really, we just checked it out. Yeah. Dude, it is yeah. really, really cool. So it's you like, upload <laughs> stuff, are you playing video games? Mm-hmm. Are you figuring out a special secret of video games or how Or you want to see trailers that yeah. were, or gameplay footage. Yeah. Or, 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 it's got all the different categories. I love that on the PS3? I don't know. Yeah. There's some PS3 footage in there, but not many. <laughs> not much. Um, but so if you, you want to head one. over, so head over to gv.com and uh, register there. Submit some videos. We're gonna take a look at the videos. Yeah, we're gonna try to figure out a way to identify videos from our show. Yes. people that like. So we'll be back. We will. We will be back in touch with you, figuring out how to do that. <laughs> yeah. Or if you haven't, so if you haven't set up a name, just put TRS in the name. That'd be cool. That'd be easy. Yeah. Or. And sort of then you well, how to use that name. We'll figure it out. We'll figure yeah. it out. But we want to thank gv.com. Yeah. Now. And it's G is in like G Willikers. Yeah. Oh, Steve G- has already put it up. Steve has already put it up. But audio listeners. I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping audio listeners. G E E V E E dot com. <laughs> no, but then it's like <laughs> dot com. Uh, okay, so emails. My question to you guys given the ability to have either a walk on, guest, or lead role in any television series ever created. Woo-hoo. What would it be, and who would you be? Interesting, Dan. Oh, a side question for Dan. <laughs> you addressed my point. Uh, what show would you want to recreate in your own, using your own style with your rad directing? And that's from Michael... Recreate in I your think own it's style? Chirico. Chirico. Michael Cur- Chirico. Who, by the way, we're glad is feeling better, is doing better. Yes. Yes. Good works. Um, so let's oh. start with Jeff. I'll start. Because, Dan, uh, because Jeff just decided to start. <laughs> I have a difficult time just narrowing that down to one. Agreed. Uh, first of all, The Shield, obviously. I mean, that's a given. I can't even use it as my answer because it's so obvious. I would yeah. love to be on The Shield. Yeah. Um, I, but, but, like, the idea of, like, walk-on or, or a little, like, one-time. Yeah, I know. Never. It, but how cool would it be to have a walk-on role on The Simpsons as yourself? Versus right? a lead role on The Simpsons as well, yourself? Well, no, you'd, it would be awesome to have a lead role on The Simpsons. But like David like this, or uh, There's, like, this fraternity of people that have played themselves on The Simpsons. I know. And have been, no, I know. That's awesome. Also, I would love to have like a a one episode role on Arrested Development. But my real answer, Jesus, I thought this through because you know clearly I, dream. I, I have one because it's a question. Okay, but here's my real answer, right? <laughs> if I could pick any any show to be a, a lead role on mm-hmm. series regular, mm-hmm. the new upcoming 2009 Star Wars show, and I would want to play a Ooh. Jedi. Well thought oh. out, sir. Well thought Damn. out. Shade Jeff. Jeff FTW. That's Jeff FTW. All right, and proceed. Try to follow that, yeah. boys. Well, I'm gonna. St- I, I mean, this is gonna be kind of lame, but I'm gonna say play Doctor Who. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, Epic. that's cool. Because you could play it for like a couple you were seasons. Born on the wrong continent, but I was born on the wrong continent. Although I could be. Uh, you heard it here first. The first American Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> you just lost the role. I, I <laughs> Everybody out there's like, dear Jesus. <laughs> I Dan, didn't direct it up. I didn't get to recreate in your own style. Part, 
Mm. Okay, so direct. If I had to recreate my own style, I would do Flash Gordon. Really? Oh. You would really choose Flash Gordon over Not everything else? And make it Battlestar. Gritty, so Battlestar. In a, in a good way, not in what we are That's now. the one you would pick over no, everything. No, no, no. If, if he, I had to no. recreate my own style, what I'd like to make, if I was oh. guest directing, yeah, yeah. Um, at, you know, either Buffy or Firefly, right. hands down. Or, so oh, like recreate Jeff. my own All style. Of a Jeff. Recreate my own style at the Preacher series. Oh. So that loser who ruined Daredevil yeah. and well, Ghost Rider we directing haven't seen that in yet. his own style that yeah. I've, I've seen and sucks. I don't think I would want you to do that because you wouldn't cast me as Jesse Custer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll audition you. <laughs> ah, I'll give you a walk on. <laughs> as Jesse Custer. <laughs> Bill Custer's friend. Oh, man. That's if you horrible. were directing. Ah. If I was directing, I'd cast myself. Hell yeah. Hmm, I don't know. Or would you cast Curse you some, Curse you tracked Would you wonder. cast Kirstie Alley <laughs> Kirstie Alley <laughs> no, no. Uh, So Comic Con is coming We're very all excited We're going to be down there yes. at Comic Con We are going to be doing a TRS I almost said Tech TV meetup A TRS <laughs> Dignation uh, I Dignation I mean. TRS <laughs> Dan I, will be there Jeff will be there Steve will be there I will be there I fan I fanboy will be there um, It's going to be fun <clears throat> I mean, really excited. Down at Comic-Con. It's at 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. on Friday night at Bar Basic. Yes. Or Basic Bar, whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's barbasic.com uh, down in San Diego. So do come on. Yeah, and, and it's like love this meet drinks guys. until a certain point or like, right? Yeah, we're going to have, well, have like a, uh, a thing. There may be free drinks. We're not sure. You know, we, got an email, we got an email from uh, a fan of ours who is not old enough to go to a bar. Oh, yeah. And we feel for you, brother. We would love for you to, if you see us roaming around Comic-Con, we're going to be, be awesome. Roaming. If you see us and you recognize us, Stop don't, us. yeah, please do not. Like, oh, there's them and you keep going. Like, we... Really want to hang right. out and talk to you. We would be very excited yeah. to hug yeah. you. Uh, but I will say, <laughs> there was a little bit of a PR mix-up. Um, it says that I'm on a panel. Uh, on Thursday, about, uh, right? On Thursday, and I'm, we're not, I am not on a panel on Thursday. So if you were going down specifically to see this panel because I was on it, I don't want you to be disappointed because I'm not on that panel. Um, and they did take it off. It was just like a PR thing. I was, it was maybe on the website for a while, right? Then, yeah, yeah, it just got, it just was a PR. A snafu. A snafu. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm. Mm. And that was on Thursday or well, something. Oh, like that. that up. It got a little foobar. It got a little foobar. Hey, speaking of foobar, how do I get a TRS hoodie? What what is Fubar about? You get that? F up beyond beyond all recognition. Beyond all recognition. You click of over the to Jinx.com slash TRS. You find a credit card somehow. You manage to type in the letter. This is how numbers. I shop. <laughs> <laughs> so head over to Jinx.com slash Totally Rad Show to get your very own Fubar slash hoodie. TR- Jinx.com slash TRS. That's TRS. I said something else. Uh, I said something else. You were Fubar. I was Fubar. Uh, and do so back to school. Get yourself a hoodie. Prepare yeah, for school rockin'. Before they sell out. Also, if you want to send us an email, which, <laughs> God, why school. wouldn't you, uh, you can send it at fan to fans at totallyradshow.com. Yeah, and that's where you would send backgrounds like Mac Beverly from uh, Canada sent us this awesome background. We love getting those there. Uh, also, head to our forums. We love the forums. Action. Uh, Let's sing it all now. From now on, we're singing. <laughs> You're up next. It's Get ready with your eyes. Uh, <laughs> start thinking of a lyric for my space. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the website is totallyradshow.com. The forums are there. Click on them. Sign up. Participate. Participate. MySpace.com slash Totally Rad Show. I'll Become be our friend. You're, you're not singing. More importantly is... Uh, <laughs> now stop singing. Please subscribe to us on the <laughs> iTunes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Also, Facebook's fun. Facebook's fun yeah. as well. Facebook's fun. All right, people. We will see you next week. I'm Alex Albright. I'm Jeff Kanata. I'm Dan Trachtenberg. That's Steve. Hi, Steve. Woo! And this is Punch an explosion. It out. Punch it out. You all ready for this? <laughs> I guess that was recorded. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody revving up. <laughs> Just ramping up. Right, here we go. <laughs>